So back up to start for race number 50, the Princess Royal Challenge Cup. So looking here at Katie Wilkinson Feller on the left of Tideway Scholars. Uh, and for, on the right of our picture is Diana Dimchenko, the 28-year-old Ukrainian scholar. I must say that Katie on the left of our picture has gone off like an absolute rocket. That's what you've got to do if you're rate it, racing the Ukrainian uh, national scholar. Take the race to her. And Katie performed really smartly yesterday in her kind of win yesterday. So as the athletes come out of Temple Island, there's not much between them. As we, as we redrawn the race just as they go past Foley, which is a halfway mark. Well, I think that uh, Katie Wilkinson Fuller from uh, Tideway Scholars School is doing pretty well here to hold on to Dimchenko, who's got a bit of an advantage now. Uh, Katie's been a GB trialist, came seventh in the Scholars' head, and then lost to the eventual Australian winner, winner of Henley Women's Regatta this year. Uh, and then Diana Dimchenko from Ukraine. Uh, she has been an international uh, athlete for some time. She was in the Ukrainian um, women's quad that came eighth in the World Championships last year in Sarasota. Um, so she's got some real experience behind it. Looking all the way down the track, you can see, Mark, the heat uh, that these athletes are having contended, contend with here. Uh, really, really smooth, strong sculling here, though, from Dinchenko. Yeah, I was just a really struggle, and it was so humid and heat. That's when you're... You're kind of racing, you're flat out, you know, you obviously can't have a drink while you're racing and it's when you're kind of, your tongue is like stuck to the roof of your mouth, you know, you're like gasping, you know, you want some fluid or something wet to kind of drink while you're going down the track. Unfortunately, uh, your hands are tied up holding your blade, so it's one of those sports where once you get going, there's no stopping until you finish. Well, you know all about that. I'm really impressed, uh, by the way, that Katie Wilkinson Feller here from Tideway Scholars School continues to attack. You can see she's really tired now. She did throw an awful lot into that star, as we, I think we commented. Um, and now she's got a long road to the finish, while we can see Dimchenko has uh, reduced her rate of sight striking and is looking in an energy conservation mode by comparison. And that's what you want to do or have to do when you're racing the international. You know, you have to throw everything at it. You want to try and put them under pressure. You want to see you know how long you can hang on for them for and that's the beauty of Henley again you know you get to race internationals you know you're racing on your club colors absolutely you're going against the best in the world to see where you are and you know where you need to improve well indeed and, and this tournament the um, Princess Royal Challenge Cup has the reigning world champion Janine Melin of Switzerland in it unbeaten in 2017 unbeaten so far in 2018 it's also got Vicky Thornley um, from Great Britain who we saw earlier today Rio silver medalist with Kath Granger in the double so some absolutely top class athletes uh, to compete with here and the winner of today's event is likely to meet uh, Janine Gamalian. I think they're racing 4.20 today, Gamalian versus Alice Batts of Agecroft Rowing Club. So we'll have to see, but that's the likely outcome of it. Yeah, and, you know, you've got the best that, best sculler in the world at the event, and that's what Henley draws. You know, the best athletes in the world, they win World Championships, World Cup events. Everybody wants that special red box with that gold medal in the Henley World Regatta. Yeah, it's wonderful to see. If you stay tuned later this afternoon, we've got Mahi Drysdale, uh, who is the New Zealand uh, Olympic double gold medalist in the single men's. The men's single competition is equally uh, strong and compelling this year, and he's back to try to win a record eating, equaling, is it six? Six title. So, I mean, it just shows you the draw, even having picked up those two Olympic golds that he wants to come back and try to get the record here at Henry. Just as she's taking control there, you know, it's always difficult to judge when you get in front, you know, how much energy you expend, you know, how you bring the rate down, how you kind of control, when do you start thinking about your next round, you know, it's, it's all those things where we, when you're in front, it's trying to gauge what you need to do just to not waste any energy, because it is drain sapping with this heat we've had over the last few days. I completely agree, and it's interesting just watching you looking at her, her technique and, and getting your head into, into the mindset that she has to be in. But of course, you can't afford to let off the focus for one moment. And uh, when you're ahead like this, I think you're thinking about good form, good technique, and you're thinking about making sure that that's really bedded in so that you come down the track. Maybe you're keeping an eye on the landmarks. So she'll be looking as she passes the progress board here. It's probably about 10 strokes to go, thinking about that. It's a closer race against the reigning world champion she wants to know exactly where she is 
And of course, the extra 112 meters add a bit more when you've been training for 2K. And it's trying to familiarize yourself with the surroundings. You know, this crowd's going to get louder as we go through the regatta. And she crosses the line there. Well, Diana Dimchenko, I think that's a good day at the office for her. A good first race out of the way. And uh, she'll be pretty pleased with that.